during this project, we had to keep the plant in continuous operation uh, to meet permanent compliance. Uh, we couldn't just simply turn off the water during this project. Uh, this construction project was fairly complex in that we had to uh, keep the plant in compliance while the construction was going on. There were numerous shutdowns uh, involving just about all process areas in the plant. Uh, what helped us along a lot that the uh, construction team, the engineers and plant staff were always on the same page. One of the reasons why the project was successful was the collaboration between Brown and Caldwell and the Little Tinglewood staff. And really, when you have a client like Little Tinglewood, they were so cooperative, their staff, in terms of getting things done. I think the completion of this project has set this facility up for the long term as we look forward to meeting increasingly stringent environmental regulations and with some of the upgrades that we've done in our control system, uh, our facility is going to be sustainable and very cost-effective to operate in the future. There are many aspects to the, to the plant construction and finalization that I think are very important for the public to be aware of. Uh, first of all, I felt that the construction was well done. It was on a timely basis. It met our financial requirements. From the first design meeting that I participated in, and the group uh, atmosphere between Littleton Inglewood and the Brown and Caldwell staff. I was amazed at how quickly the project came from concept to black and white drawings and then eventually into production. The plant is an extremely large plant located in a, that serves about 300,000 people, located in a city of about 30,000, and it's located very near the downtown. During this project, we identified uh, aged infrastructure and replaced aged equipment. Some of it that has been installed since the original construction in the late 1970s. Uh, with the increased capacity, we we're now able to sustain for the next 20 or 30 years. As far as the construction sequencing portion of that, there was a, quite a bit of work and detail needed to uh, be accomplished in the design so that we could put it in the bid documents and the contractor could realize that, you know what, this can actually be done. I think the biggest achievement uh, was that we continued to operate a 20 million gallon sewer treatment plant. Uh, at the same time, we added a $114 million expansion. Massive uh, amounts of new equipment, um, new pumps, new services were put in place. At the same time, we continued to successfully uh, operate the plant uh, with a, a continuation of flows. We had a very good construction management team. During the course of this project, we had several cost and scheduling issues that came up. And that team put together some creative and innovative solutions. Uh, those solutions kept us out of claim situations and kept the contractor on schedule and under budget. If we delay the contractor because we're not ready when they move a piece of equipment over, that's a really big deal during the construction process and they can claim delays. And so we were really able to leverage the tools we have to keep from delaying the contractor. And that was, I think, was one of the really big success stories in the procedural, you know, the, the final product is really, really terrific. But how we got there one piece of equipment at a time is a whole different story that was equally successful. From the very beginning, uh, even in pre-design, uh, we had several meetings, weekly meetings, I believe, with Brown and Caldwell and members of our staff, and uh, that kind of opened up the lines of communication. Uh, we let them know what our ideas were, what we'd like to see, and they, and they took them into consideration. In terms of specific successes, uh, cost is one of those, and it really is attributed to a good design. Originally, when you put together a design, you're always a little bit nervous going into the construction of the project because that's where all the mistakes come out. Uh, with this project, we had over 2,600 notifications over 1,100 process interruptions. We had 26 complete plant shutdowns. And with that, we had numerous, numerous issues and process failures. Well, I think I'm very proud of the plant staff. They were up uh, on a number of nighttime shutdowns that went into the early hours of the morning. These plant shutdowns occurred at 2 a.m. in the morning, and they had approximately three to four hours to complete their work. And when it came down to working with Brown and Caldwell and working with the contractors to complete this project on time and on schedule and under budget, they came through, and I'm most proud of that. We have an obligation to improve the water quality of the Platte River and meet state health and EPA requirements. And I felt that by the expansion of the plant that we were able to achieve those goals. As part of the continued master planning effort, one of the regulatory requirements 
was to go to denitrification and we had several choices. We operated pilot plants and we chose the one that was based on, on the fact that if we have to go to phosphorus removal, going to the denitrification facility with filters that we put in would allow the most cost effective treatment of phosphorus if that becomes an issue and it, and it probably will. The denitrification facility uh, here at the plant is probably the most unique feature uh, and uh, kind of the coolest thing we've done during this construction project. Unlike most of the other facilities that exist, we can both denitrify and or filter at the same time. One of the unexpected benefits of the denitrification process is it has uh, reduced our chemical usage uh, downstream. One of the key features of our denitrification process is that we can feed methanol to the filters or we can allow them to be just in filtration mode. Uh, this allows us to fine tune the process and uh, get the most bang for the buck and save money on methanol costs and electricity. There's a tremendous amount of automation involved in this process and it benefits the plant operator that he can monitor the process from uh, any computer screen in the plant, not have to be continually here to see how things are working. So the basic philosophy is that uh, no matter where you are in the system, if an alarm comes in, something on the screen is going to flash yellow. On the pop-up screen, you can see there's another yellow box. If I click on that yellow box, it gives me some specific information about the nature of the failure. In this case, the pressurization pump over here is supposed to have regular cycles of filling, uh, draining, and this indicates that it's having problems with the cycle. If I go up a layer, I have a context sensitive alarm list just for the daft process. If I click on that, here's the seven alarms for the daft process. If I'm the operator for this particular facility within the plant, I can look at just the alarms in this building and I don't have to look at everything that's going on in the whole plant. Overall, I think this project, I consider it to be successful. Um, did it beat my expectations? I'm mean, going in, I didn't know what to expect. I and mean, this was, at the time of this project, the largest project um, of, of this nature in the state of Colorado. So I didn't know what to expect. I mean, it, I think it, it, it overwhelmed me at some times, but, um, but it was a tremendous, tremendous experience and um, it was a great project. By doing the master planning effort, we eliminated redundancies in construction and have produced a product that I think overall is about uh, as cost effective as we could have done looking at it in a in a 20-year context. Now the phase two is complete. Uh, I think we have a world-class facility here. I've uh, had an opportunity to visit numerous plants around the states and actually even a, a few in Europe and I don't think there's really any that can compare with what we have here now. Uh, it's high-tech, it's uh, state-of-the-art, it's uh, automation is very uh, sophisticated so uh, I uh, just think we ended up with a really good facility here. By what we achieved with the construction of this plant, it put us, I guess, ahead of the curve. Many of the other utilities uh, throughout the nation and the area uh, are in desperate need of infrastructure improvements. By completing this plant in an economical fashion, we're both, again, able to, to meet capacity requirements and also uh, meet uh, more and more stringent public health requirements uh, for stream flows. We are well ahead of, uh, of most other uh, utilities by the completion of this plant. As far as the project manager, I couldn't have been happier the way this project turned out. And uh, I was expecting so many things, so many more problems and issues and major problems to occur. And it was truly a uh, result of just a great team and a great uh, client to be able to work with and to achieve this. I think really for Ron and Caldwell, this project is as good as it gets.